Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking a bit off topic to my typical stuff. It's not me doing an instance and showing you how to get through. I'm going to be talking about gaming addiction and how to beat it. Uh, specifically in Lotro because I've, I have such um, experience in playing this game over a number of years. And my in-game playing time is now almost a year, um, which is accumulated over some time. Um, I'm going to try and keep this really short to under about five minutes. If you've clicked on this video, it's probably because you've either had some form of gaming addiction or you think you've had it or are leading up to it or you're currently enduring it. And I'm going to do my best to give you some advice because it's not easy getting out of gaming addiction. Partly because people absolutely love it. With any addiction, people enjoy the thing that they are abusing. Um, and although it may not be as drastic as alcohol abuse or being addicted to cigarettes or, or worse, it's important to acknowledge that gaming addiction can be just as, in a way, just as real. And I think that getting control of your own mind can be so important to yourself in regards to personal development and being able to just mentally achieve other things. It's very important to catch gaming addiction before it gets worse. So I'll very quickly give you a synopsis of um, of what it is and how I endured it and how I got rid of it. Essentially, gaming addiction is where you wake up in the morning, it's one of the first things you think about. You can't imagine going a day without it, or if you are, for some reason, unable to get onto your game when you want to, you feel this overwhelming frustration. About... Uh, let's see, about three years ago, I started playing Lord of the Rings Online. And I found Lotro to be an absolutely fantastic game because I found it virtually embodied uh, the book really well. In fact, I think it was the first game I played which I thought, bloody hell, this is, this is exactly how I imagined it in my mind when I read the book. And because I had a number of friends playing with me at the time, it was a way of socialising whilst constantly achieving. And it was, honestly, at the time, like I'd opened an entirely new window of understanding in my mind. Um, things got worse. Over a, a period of months, I'd play for longer hours. And I think this happens to many people when they find a new game that they really love. Especially something which is, they, they had loved before playing. For example, in, in regards to Lord of the Rings Online, um, I'd loved the books, I'd loved the films. So this encouraged my pre-existing love of something. Um, so it got worse over a number of months. I would play at one point eight hours a day solidly and I had to remind myself to eat. At one point I lost weight because of my addiction. Um, and I find that the reason that I think it, most people get addicted to online games, and this certainly occurred for me, is that I didn't have anything which I perceived to be better that I could be doing. Even though I was in the middle of school, and I was applying to universities and I was looking at degrees I should be doing. I found that Lotro was an escape from responsibility. And if you're listening to this and you realise that yeah, maybe Lotro or whatever game you're playing is a, a, an escape from responsibility, then that's not a healthy thing that you're doing, which I'm sure you're aware. So the first step of solving a problem is, is acknowledging that it exists. So if you can acknowledge that you do have a gaming addiction, that's the first step. And the last step will be eventually being able to play without being addicted. So I find that there are a number of steps that you can take to discourage your addiction and to eventually be healed of it. Um, I'd say try and just be aware of how long you've been playing. Have a timer with you so you can actually ac acknowledge how fast time flies whilst you're playing these games. Um, write down a list of things that you want to do that you haven't been able to do because you've been playing your game. Even if it's from the most mundane to putting washing on the line to meeting up with friends with friends you haven't seen in a while because of your gaming problems. So realise that gaming is taking over from other things which are potentially better and maybe more healthy for you. After writing down the things that you're you're missing and after timing how many hours you're playing try and think about how your life could improve if you didn't play 
and write down all the list of things which you'd benefit from. For example, if you didn't play Lotro or if you didn't play your game, you could go out and exercise more. You could eat more healthily because you'd be paying more attention to what you eat. You could be making more friendships. You could be enhancing your career. In a year's time, you'd think, oh, if only I'd taken it up or increased my current ability, then I'd be better. If you find that you're not willing to reduce your hours, you're not willing to beat this addiction, and maybe somebody else has told you that you're addicted, I'd suggest you do some research yourself. Just go online and type in online addiction and then just see in black and white what it, what it actually is. And then from there you can evaluate yourself and understand just if you are addicted or if, some, if people just don't have an understanding of what you're actually doing. So I hope that this video has helped someone out there. And if you are addicted to Lotro, or if you are like me and you're currently <laughs> recovering, um, realise that it does get better. And since I have stopped my Lotro addiction, I've taken up bodybuilding. I'm learning French and my keyboard skills are significantly better than they were. I've lost two stone in weight and my relationship with my partner is better than ever. So I suppose you could say there's proof in the pudding. Or at least I'm the, the physical proof I'm the I'm the pudding. <laughs> uh, things do get better and you will improve as a person. So good luck and I hope things get better.